Hello there, my name is Jake Levin and I'm a solution consultant here at ServiceNow focusing on ITAM or IT Asset Management. And I'm excited to demonstrate today how we can put generative AI to work for hardware and software requests using Now Assist. This presentation may contain forward-looking statements that are based on our beliefs and assumptions and on information currently available to us only as of the date of this presentation. All right, so where we've landed is the Employee Center Pro. Right now, I'm impersonating the role of Storm. He's your average employee. He's not too tech savvy, but needs some new software in order to do his job. Additionally, he was using his computer that's a little over a year old and notices that his screen was acting up. So he also needs to request a new workstation as well. We are going to walk through that journey together. While the Employee Center acts as that centralized hub for anything Storm could or would ever need to do his job, today he directs his focus towards Now Assist. Through generative AI, Now Assist is going to take Storm's inputs, intelligently assess the situation at hand, and learn to adapt to Storm's needs. He's greeted with the following message. Hi, Storm. I'm an AI-powered virtual agent and can answer questions, fulfill requests, and generally point you in the right direction. I am still learning, so I might make some mistakes, so be sure to check my answers for accuracy. How can I help? Oh, I need to order a new replacement laptop. Now Assist is going to evaluate Storm's input here and offer a suggestion that makes the most sense given the context, using that natural language understanding and improving results along the way. What Now Assist has now done is that it has identified a catalog item for a replacement laptop, and the best way to do that is here in the chat. So let's get started. Now Assist is asking, is Storm a part of the EMEA region, AMS, APJ, or is he a remote employee? Storm is a remote employee and he enters that. And based on that input, Now Assist has pre-filled this chat message here with a summary of his issue. Is your current laptop in a working condition? It says yes, uh, that is pre-filled, but we have the ability to change that. We'll be doing that shortly. And it asks him again, what region are you part of? He's remote. And because he's a remote employee, this laptop will be delivered to his home address and that has been pre-filled already. So we're gonna make some changes before we submit this. And we're gonna specify specifically that my laptop is not in a working condition. So with that input now, Assist is going to take that and update the summary to reflect that no, this current laptop is in fact not in a working condition. All else is still the same and looks good, so we're good to submit. And it's asking if I wanted to add any attachments, so if I had any PDFs or any other files or images, like say a picture of my broken monitor screen, I could attach that as well. Uh, no, not for today. Great, now what Now Assist has done is it has created a requested item record and is now sitting on the desk of whoever it is that will be fulfilling Storm's request for a new laptop. We're not done just yet. Uh, as Storm, in order to do my job, I need some software. And similarly with that hardware, it's also going to evaluate this message and populate the answer that makes the most sense in this case, all software catalog item. And again, we're going to get started in the chat. It's asking now, do you have the software media disks? No, I do not have the floppy disks on hand. So I enter that. And similar to before, again, it's created a summary of what I have said. Uh, what software do you need installed? I need software. So we're going to need to make that change and reflect what software it is that I do need so that the person that's going to fulfill this request has all the information that they need. And no, I do not have those software media disks. So let's make some changes. As a marketing analyst, Storm needs access to Microsoft Project. And Microsoft Access.
And nope, still don't have those floppy disks. Great, and what now Assist has done is it summarized again my chat inputs. Uh, I need Microsoft Project, Microsoft Access, and no, still don't have those disks. So we're good to submit. And just like before, if I wanted to add any attachments, be it PDFs or approval messages or emails, I could have those as well. Uh, but we are going to submit that as is. Right, so now that Now Assist has created requested item records for both the hardware and software storm needs, he's able to close the window and continue his day-to-day -day as a marketing analyst. All right, so we've just witnessed how Storm was able to harness the power of the platform through the Gen AI built Now Assist. Again, he was able to make use of this intelligent virtual assistant and didn't have to email or call the IT help desk, effectively saving valuable time, resources, and efforts by enabling that self-service for employees. We're gonna change gears here ever so slightly. We've shifted from the day in the life of your average employee, Storm, to the hat and perspective of an asset manager. We are now impersonating the role of Casey Martin. She's an asset manager at Storm's organization. She's responsible for overseeing how her enterprise manages and provisions hardware, software, cloud, and enterprise assets. She's responsible for quite a bit, but luckily the Now platform simplifies her asset management journey for her. Tying into that ITAM component, again, that's IT asset management, where we've landed is the hardware asset workspace, specifically the procurement tab. This is one place where Casey can review the requests that wind up on her desk, like Storm's. And here it is. Let's open it. So this is the grade of requests that Storm submitted via Now Assist. This is where, depending on the configured approval workflow for this item, Casey can approve or reject this request. For the sake of the demonstration today, I've gone ahead already and approved this request. Upon the approval of this request, a catalog task was automatically created for the requested items. From here, we have one service catalog task that was automatically created as well for Casey to source the requested items. From this catalog task, Casey is able to reassign this task to other team members, assign different configuration items, list a greater priority, or add any internal working notes. But for now, she's going to go ahead and source this request. Now we have our sourcing page that specifically highlights how many items need to be sourced as a part of this greater request, one item for each in this case. For software, we have visibility into the available rights that are ready to be allocated for this user or this device. Or if there are no rights available, we have the ability to purchase more from that vendor. If Casey selects allocate or purchase in this case, the appropriate workflows for either allocate or create a purchase order will kick off based on her decision. For the Apple MacBook or for other physical hardware, Casey is able to track her available stock that she has on hand that is ready to be deployed. It would appear that there are zero in local stock, so luckily she has some options that she can take. She is able to transfer her stock between her varying warehouses or stock rooms. Maybe she can be strategic with her transfer order here and maybe move more than just one of those MacBooks. Ultimately, she's able to plan accordingly from that higher level. Similarly, she can also purchase additional hardware from that vendor. No matter what decision Casey makes to source this MacBook, whichever option she selects, consume, transfer, or purchase, the appropriate workflow will initiate and execute seeing to it that Storm gets the workstation and software that he needs to best do his job and help his organization grow. In closing, Generative AI is here to stay. It's already baked into the Now platform. It's ready to go. Enhancements to the platform and ITAM come out every year as part of our two annual releases. Generative AI and Now Assist can help you along your asset management journey. 
My name is Jake Levin. If you should have any further questions about any of our ITAM solutions, HAM, SAM, EAM, or cloud cost management, please visit any of those websites above or contact your account team. Thank you again for your time and have a great rest of your day.